case you're just going to press the button to keep the dog with you because really I mean, you could tell the dog come to this point but you don't really need to you know all you're trying to do is teach the dog remotely to be able to keep the dog with you okay so that's going to be the third thing okay then what you're going to do from there you're going to go back to a step behind stop the dog the collar no you have to think about it you don't no <laughs> so what you want to do is this add, you have to look at what you got going on okay so if the dog is sticking in the front because everything has an a and a b okay right. where you're starting where you're ending Okay. So the dog's on the board, I because want to call back in a perspective. Imagine this, looking at it from an A and B standpoint. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our A is really good, our B sucks. So now this is what's going to happen. We call the dog, he comes 100 miles an hour, but because he's not clean on the B portion, the back half of the command, he just runs by and he runs over to the dog park. Okay. So that's obviously a problem. Okay. Right. Now if we reverse it, our A is not good, but if he ever gets to the B, it's, it's clean. Boom, he comes in perfect square, right. but he never can leave there to get to here. That doesn't do us any good either. Right. Right. So we need a tension on both sides. The whole system is based on clarity and understanding. What do you want? 